Hi guys, Ghost here, and today we're playing Shadows of Loathing. If y'all remember West of Loathing, it's from the same people, so you know we're in for a, um, a weird game. So let's get to it. <laughs> Okie dokie. We're just gonna... Jump into it. <laughs> it wouldn't let me do it. Okay. WASD. It's... That's how you move. I'm using a controller, so this is a lie. <laughs> this would be probably be useful information if you could, you know, see it. Very true. What just happened? Wait a minute. What that say? You hear the sound of a downer behind you. Maybe someone there can help you with the little magazine on the face problem. Or I can give up. That's not what I want to do. Beautiful diner here. Sorry, can you help me? You shouldn't bother anybody until you get the magazine off your face. I'm not talking to you. Write that look off your face. The copy of Look magazine that's stuck to your face. Bathroom's in the back. She points over to the right, as far as you know. <laughs> You should don't bother anyone. There's some kind of big glass and metal box here, but you can't actually see what it is. You blunder your way into the bathroom and eventually find the sink. After fumbling with the faucet for a while, you manage to disentangle yourself from the magazine. You stare into the mirror revealing, yes, <gasps> we can pick how we look. Oh, baby. Oh, they're all such good choices. I like the unibrow on this one. <laughs> um. Hmm. I like mustache man. He looks like the Pringle man. We're gonna pick him. There you are. Leave the bathroom. I'm fancy. A couple of older folks are having an animated discussion. Well, one of them is. Hmm, the way these oh young women act these days with their short hair and their sassy talk and their dresses that don't even cover their their ankles is scandalous. Those dances they do failing around like I don't know what. I, I I thought prohibition would have put them put the caboose on that sort of top foolery. But no sir. Can't imagine dancing a waltz to the music they're playing nowadays, so and that's the problem right there. This new fangled uh, jazz music with all the drums and, and clarinets and such. What kind of word is that anyway? Jazz. I think your cup got switched. You're supposed to be drinking decaf. Die. <laughs> A couple of young women are chatting breezily over coffee. Talk to them. Hey, Matt, what town is this? Port Keepsea. Are you two traveling? Yeah, Ocean City's turning into a real sawmill, so we boosted her jelly beans brazier for a weekend whirl to the hot potato. Oh, bourgeois. You make it sound like we went south with it. I flew like I flew him a kite. Everything's Jake. Jeez, I'm pretty sure I'm the only three or four years older than you two, but I barely understand what you're saying. What are you, a canceled stamp? Go get some pepper in your shoes. Uh... Yeah, I'll try that. Okay. The Nightingale welcomes all travelers. Hi. Try coffee. You'll like it eventually. Oh. Oh, there's some kind of new neat operated multi selection phonograph, or jukeboxes as the kids call them. Neat. Oh, hey, there's something in the coin return. You gain a meat. Nice. Thank you, sir. The man is concentrating very hard on his coffee. Talk to him. Hey there, is there something particularly interesting about that coffee? It's my first one. Of the day? No. It's just my first coffee ever. Oh, what do you think? I think it's a bad beverage. It's bitter, and it makes my stomach hurt. Ah. Well, it's not for everybody, I suppose. Yeah, I think I'll have another one after this, though. Then maybe every morning for the rest of my life. Hmm, well, enjoy. <laughs> the, the way he just backs up. This case contains three pies, which is exactly three pies more than you can afford. 
But now, that looks so much better. I'm Ethel. Use a different first name. We are... Ghost. Hi. I am Ghost. I... I am Ghost. Ghost who? I really want to put Ghost Ghost. <laughs> that's, that's all I want to do right now. I am a... I'm Ghost Spookington. Spooking. Ooh, 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 ooh. How do I... Spooking. I'm Ghost Spookington. Pleased to, meet you. <laughs> Pleased to meet you, Ghost Spookington. What can I get you? Can I get a cup of coffee? <clears throat> you sure can. Best cup of coffee in the state, if I may so, uh, uh, I may say so myself. That'll be one me. Great to go, please. In the diner or coffee, you spend a dollar. Anything else, hon? Does the bus to Ocean City pick up here? Sure it does. Should be here any minute. Good thing, too. I hear it. We're in for rain tonight. What takes you to Ocean City? My uncle lives there. I got a letter from him. He wants me to help him with something. That, that's a reason, hon. But somebody else's reason was your reason. Out locks eyes with you. I, uh, I just really want to help. I get in trouble back home. I'm searching for something. Just seeking my fortune. Or mind your own damn business, Ethel. Um, hmm. Let's see. Um, got in some trouble back home. <clears throat> really? It looked like such a sweetheart. What did you do? I beat up a phone booth. <laughs> oh, not the phone booth. I shot a parking meter. I started a fire in a mailbox. I was mistaken. There was no trouble. No, I beat up a phone booth. You got the perk checkered past. Nice. And the police are actually bothering to come after you for that? No, I'm just embarrassed about it. Aw. Smile sheepishly and walk away. Ma'am. Oh, so L1. Want to melee weapon attacks. Okay. 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 That scared me. The zipper scared me. <clears throat> Diner coffee. A paper cup of fresh black coffee. It smells better than any coffee you had on this trip. Good griefs. This coffee smells so good. You can't bring yourself to drink it because you might really need some coffee later. What if I need coffee now? Everything you own is in this trunk, including your portable carpet steamer. Unpacking a diner seems like a really bad idea. My bad. Strong back. Quick wit, fashion sense, good eyesight. Item drops and meat drops. Ooh, <laughs> you can recognize the letter E from like really far away. Fashion sense. You know you're not supposed to wear plaid and stripes at the same time, but you're so cool that you get away with it anyways. Moxie helps you look cool, move with grace and style, deal damage with ranged weapons, guns, and musical instruments. Okay, quick wit. You might not be the sharpest tool in the drawer, but you're not the dullest knife in the shed. Your mysticality helps you figure things out, sound smart when you talk, and deal damage with magical we weapons. Mostly utensils. <clears throat> Strong back. You can't put your back into it if your back is barely strong enough to support the weight of your own head. Your muscles lift you, lets you lift heavy things, break fragile things, and deal damage with must, uh, melee weapon attacks. Well, I think we're done here, right? We talked to everyone. Can we go back in here? We were just in there a few seconds ago. If you go again, people will think you're weird. I wanted to go back to the bathroom. Log. Bruh, we are 10 minutes in and I am loving this game. <clears throat> you pulled out the letter you got from Uncle Murray and read it again. Maury Morris, CO, Maury's Antiques, 111 Pluckett Street, Ocean City. Dear Ghost, I hope this letter finds you well and I hope it finds you quickly. Something quite serious has happened. I need the help of your adventuresome spirit. Come to my shop in Ocean City as soon as you're able, please. 
your uncle, M Murray. I will kill us all and burn this best to the ground. <laughs> this out cold. What the fuck is I? He's scary. I don't like that clown. Where did that old man come from? You're just supposed to go mad from the monotony of this ride when the bus suddenly jitters to a stop. You look out the window expecting to see sights and sounds of Ocean City, but instead you see an endless expanse of extremely wet seas. Uh, trees. Trees. That says trees. Uh oh. But this bus lacks in comfort makes up for unreliability. <laughs> Damn. What's going on? This doesn't look like Ocean City. Nope, sorry about this, but we're out of gas. Ah, oh, geez, you didn't fill up before we left? I filled up the bus, but this trip takes exactly one full tank of gas. He hands you an empty gas can. You got an empty, you got an item, empty gas can. Plus, one additional can. Swell. Why do I have to get it? Well, I'd go myself, except for two reasons. Those being... Firstly, Ben, I'm the bus driver. I'm legally responsible for this bus. I gotta keep an eye on it. And secondly, because of my leg. What's wrong with your leg? It's attached to a fella that don't want to go wandering around in the rain that night. <sighs> well, all right then. Guess I haven't got much of a choice. Can I borrow your umbrella at least? This is a left-handed umbrella. I'm a lie. <laughs> I am not left-handed, but I want that umbrella. I am left-handed, as it happens. But you want registered to my um <laughs> umbrella insurance? Nuts. <laughs> Sorry about that. Here, I do have a flashlight you can use, though. Good luck. Thanks. My mustache is going to get wet. You couldn't make a dog walk six miles in this rain, no matter how bad I wanted to. How bad it wanted to. Okay. Gas pump is empty. The pump is full of water instead of gas. There's a little bit of gas left in this pump, but there's no hose on it. Seems like yesterday gas was only six and fifteen sixty-fourths meat a gallon. Side, those were the days. Sessions have run out of service. Oh, postcards. Either they're out of postcards or all the scenery around here is invisible. Stupid. <laughs> there's one object left on the snack shelf. Ew, nobody in their right mind would consider this vile substance a snack. Cheese loaf. Gross. It's weird that the cash register is pointed towards the front of the store. Oh, I got seven dollars. Empty oil cans. A whole pyramid of them. Can I knock it over? I'm gonna knock it over. There's an old baseball bat leaning against the wall here. You got a baseball bat. Where do I put that on? Oh, I have it equipped. You should unpack your bag in a dirty gas station. Uh, okay. Sign says employees are only. Are you an employee? Yes. Really? You never mentioned working at a gas station? Yes, really. Well, no, okay, if you say so. Go through. The desk presumably optimized for doing gasoline-related business. Search it. Four of the drawers contain nothing but old receipts and pencil stubs. The fifth one is locked. The broken radio can still be considered nice. This is a pretty nice radio. The shelf smells like axle grease and old paint, probably because that's what's on it. The shelf is laden with miscellaneous electrical widgets and doodads. You don't have any use for them, though. The shelf is full of old personal files. <laughs> Look up Ghost Spookington. I be darned, here's your file. You do work here. <laughs> you got an item, the gas station personal file. Sorry, I ever doubted you. <laughs> you gained 5 XP. <laughs> Each object that you examine on this shelf is dirtier and more boring than the one you looked at before. Wait, so what does this say? This is your personal file from the abandoned gas station you work at. Can I not look at it? That's... Beautiful. <laughs> Looks like this control for the car lift thing. Nothing happens. It must not have power. Really want to know the story behind this sign. Stand clear of the lift before operating, Steve. Okay, so now I'm really. Can I save? Oh, what are. Woo! 
Ooh, this option is haunted. I'm scared to press it. Arachnophobia, you won't carry any spiders. You encounter so many spiders. All combat sounds will be replaced with spider noises. I'm curious on what that's gonna be. Uh, we should take that off, hold on. How do you save though? Fuse box. Hmm. As advertised, this box contains one fuse. However, the fuse is broken, which is probably not intended. You should keep an eye out for a replacement. That was a cool little, cool little flip he did. Jesus. Uh, must be one around here somewhere. Need three mysticality. Oh, I was gonna check these shelves. The shelf is laden with miscellaneous electrical widgets and doodads. Got a fuse. Nice. Nice, nice. Good place. Click. Done. So, button? You should stand clear of the live too, ghost. You right. My bad. <laughs> Pour it in, you can. I got gas. Some kind of weird mystical doodad. Point. Spark plugs. Use them. Okay. Finnegan's optional boxing gym. You don't have to fight if you don't want to. He didn't get a choice. Oh, hi, lady. Miserable looking hitchhiker is standing in the rain, listlessly sticking her thumb out. Hi there. Her, hand tur her head turns slowly to face you. Her eyes don't quite meet yours. Can I, can you give me a lift? I need to go to Albany. Sorry, I'm going the other way. Oh. I also don't have a car. Oh. What's your name? I'm Ghost. Lydia. Nice to meet you, Lydia. Although, I admit the circumstances aren't great. Hmm. So what's in Albany? Do you have family there? No, I just want to go somewhere new. Albany isn't new, though. It's one of the oldest cities in the country. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> okay, that's fair. Do you know where I can get some gas? Gas? Uh, the bus I was on ran out, and the driver sent me to find some more. Bus? Yeah, I'm trying to get to Ocean City. I've never been there. Well, okay, then. How about this rain, huh? Lily looks lightly surprised and glances around slowly. Oh, it's raining. Yeah, sure is. Why don't I do be stuck out on the road, right? I had a noticed. I get the feeling you aren't much of a noticer. Hmm. Well, anyways, seen any good movies lately? I saw Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde at the Nickelodeon. Oh, that's a classic. What did you think? It was scary. I liked it. I prefer comedies myself. Have you seen the new Buster Keaton one? The Cameraman? I don't know who that is. Oh, he's great. You have to see Sherlock Jr. That's my favorite. Mm. Really terrific. Um, read any good books lately? The Invisible Man. It was a really good one. Excuse me. Oh, yeah? H.G. Wells was great. Have you read his new one? The War in the Air? I didn't really care for it. The one I'm thinking of is Mr. Something on Something Island. I forgot the name, but it was terrible. His earlier works are his best, like the time machine. Yeah, I love that one. I'm glad we were able to find something we can connect on, Lydia. So, um, 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 can I just keep doing this? Do I get anything from this? Lydia? Lydia? Okay, bye. Bye, Lydia! <laughs> oh, little turtle! The turtle's stuck on its back. Why aren't you helping it? I am, I'm helping it out. There you go, bye! I love you! 
enjoy blue color cola the honorable choice oh billboard from before the war I'm sorry there was a cola war no so I want to go to this house I don't want to miss it hey uh I won't I don't want to be on friendly but this is a private residence that you just barged into oh geez sorry everything's so desolate outside I guess I just assumed this place was abandoned well, come morning, you'll be right, so might as well get you out of the rain for a spell. Thanks, my name is Ghost Spookington. Howdy, Ghost. I'm Eli. Eli uh, Elias. Elias Chekhov. Make yourself at home. Make yourself. <laughs> bears? All these boxes are labeled bears. Are these boxes really full of bears? Nah, those boxes are can pears. A little fun writing the label is all. You want a can? I got one left that didn't fit. You got the Bibson's Extra Sweet Pears. Gee, thanks. This weird device on top of this box. Ask Elias about it. What's this funny looking thing? That's a duck call. Well, what's it for? It's for calling ducks. Oh, fun. It used to be. I don't work. It don't work anymore. I'm, kind of, I'm being haunted. <sighs> haunted? Uh, haunted? Well, yeah, not exactly haunted exactly. A bunch of spiders got in there and now it sounds all scary when you blow it. I, uh, I see. If you want it, it's yours. You gingerly take the duck call, trying very hard not to think about spiders. You got the hunted duck call. What spiders? Good job. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, hey, I didn't know you. I can't see that, but it pulls the menu out. Oh. You're pretty sure this duck call is haunted, but you can't remember the story of how it got that way. Funny. It was spiders. <laughs> this is the enemy's muscles, mysticality, and moxie bear one when you honk at them. Once per fight. Uh, increase the mysticality. What was it? It'd be impolite to go through stuff in somebody else's living room. Okay. Moxie. The other one was moxie. Oh. There's a rifle hanging above the fireplace. Are you leaving this rifle behind? Yep. How come? It's a varmint rifle. Well, where I'm going, there ain't many varmints. There's varmin, to be sure, and critters and such as like that. But the Almanac don't have any examples of a varmint qui Varmint qui varmint, if you know what I mean. I do know what you mean. No need to fret over it right now in any case. That kind of for later. Later? Mm-hmm. Much later. Uh, okay. What does that fucking mean? That's ominous. Box labeled gears. What's with the boxes of gears? My daughter Simone left those behind when she went off to school. Figured I should keep them for her. Okay. Gears? Wait, these boxes of tears or tears? Oh god, they are spelled the same. Don't be ridiculous. You can't put neither of them in a box. <coughs> Excuse me. Don't make any kind of sense. You right. Kitchen ink brand kitchen sink. The collection of stains makes it home. Home on the range. Home, home on the range. These boxes are labeled shares. What is in here? Stocks? Scissors. Oh. The door is locked with some kind of elaborate logical lock. What's with this door? Oh, that's my daughter Simone's room. His life for college. Hopefully she ain't left anything important in there because I plum forgot how to work that crazy luck she invented. Can I use your bathroom? Sure. How'd you know the doors is the bathroom, though? I've always had a knack for knowing which doors lead to bathrooms is all. Well, good for you, I guess. Jesus, I opened it so aggressively. A vicious clawfoot bathtub. This surprisingly modern toilet for such an old house. Flush it. You flush Chekhov's toilet, hoping it won't come back to haunt you later. Why is it gonna haunt me later? What's with the toilet? <laughs> you see your face in Elias's mirror, just like your own mirror back home. Gaze into it. Hi, ghost. Smile. Hey there, good looking. Brown. Oh, what's wrong? Scrowl. Why, I oughta. Worry. Oh, no, 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 oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. You remember something really embarrassing you did a couple years ago. Ugh. 
Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Close your eyes. I just assume this looks good. Back to normal. Wait, does it... Does my... Oh, it does! Oh, we're going with blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Talk to him. So you moving out? Yep, I finished packing, so now I'm just waiting for the movers to come and take this last load of stuff. You got movers coming in the middle of the night? Nah, in the morning. I just went and packed up my teddy bear and forgot which box he's in. Can't sleep. I see. Why are you leaving? Well, my daughter went off to college, so there's nothing keeping me here. I never particularly cared about farming anyhow. Just kind of fell into it, you know? So I reckon I'd take the opportunity to retire and travel a bit. See what kind of trouble I can get up to. <laughs> Nice. What's your story? What are you doing out in the night like this? I got a letter. Where do I start? Oh, I got a letter from my Uncle Murray. Uh, why am I using the same accent for him? I got a letter from my Uncle Murray. It sounded urgent, so I hopped on the bus to Ocean City. I ain't sure how to tell you this, but you got a ways to go yet. Yeah, the bus ran out of gas, so the driver sent me to scavenge for some more. I got you. Well, I think there's an old gas can in the barn out back. You're welcome to it. Oh, thanks. I gotta warn you, though. You have to fight my daughter for it. What? Well, technically, I should say my daughter's monster. What? It's a thing my daughter Simone built. What? <laughs> See, my kid's a real technical whiz. She built an auto ominous robot traption to help with plowing and harvesting and the like. Worked real nice, too. Oh, wow. Problem is, after she left it, blew a what's-it tube and got violent. I'm pretty good with machinery, but when it comes to those newfangled electronics, I might as well be a dog trying to read Play-Doh. I just locked it in the barn. Ah, I see. You're welcome to try your hand against it if you mind, too. But please be careful. I got a lot of sharp bits on it. Here's the key. The Farmer Chikoff's barn key. Thank you. Did I go in this room? What's this door to lead, I ask you? Spare bedroom. Ain't been used in forever. I don't even bother opening the door since the dust devil got in there. Feel free to help yourself, though. I doubt you find much of use. A dust devil? Yeah, those girdles are a real nuisance around here. They're attracted to beds and they ain't been cleaned under properly. And since I lost my broom back in 26, it's been a real, what does Simone call it? A nutrient, a nutrient rich environment. Honorary little beast gets real territorial. Okay, I'll be careful. A taste for a range of dried fawns. Shelves full of pulp westerns. Take a look at one. Drifters of the night. Look at another one. Showdown at Six Gun Oro. Duel at Cowboy Trail. The Riders of the Night. Ooh. Hey, this one looks like it's worth a read. You got the handguns tell. Look at another one. Gee. Did I press a button? <laughs> Unlike most old westerns, this one is written from the perspective of the gun. Uh, what? This story is pretty boring, but it contains very technical, complex descriptions of advanced shooting techniques. Mysticality. Put the book away for now. I think I want to work on mysticality. I want a gun. That's so nice. Ooh, I got $10. We have to dig that up. The dust of was really kicking up some dickens under there. Drag it out. Are you sure? Chuck, I said these things were pretty dangerous. Yeah, I'm sure. Ow! Now oh, I'm bleeding. <sighs> well, how much? You have one AP. Using a skill that costs an <clears throat> usable one fight. We don't know. Do you make a basic attack? Okay. Too physical. Bink. Ow, well, I'm dead. Bleh. Bye, bird. <laughs> you should have listened to Chekhov. Ow. 
Oh, it's outside. Is that a gun? There's nothing on the clothesline except the pair of socks in a old gun. Loot it. Take the gun and leave the socks. They don't look safe. <clears throat> I want to. There's Moxie plus. <clears throat> Oh, there we go. I wish I didn't do this one only because I'm not going to use melee weapons. That's a shame. <clears throat> the scarecrow is a bit more intimidating than usual. The crows around here must be real aggressive. Yeah, that thing has a gun. I ain't scared of it. <clears throat> Take it I want to all stats and shoot it. Pick up where I can throw it at the uh, shoot crow, dealing two physical damage, using it as a custom action point. How do you know if it does a action point? <clears throat> oh, right, got it. Ooh, we win. My gun was better. <clears throat> That's just a regular scarecrow with the gun. You gain five XP. You got enough XP to learn a skill. Open the character sheet via the icon on the top right or hit C. Excellent. Hmm. This thing's crow menacing days are over. There's an old tractor. <clears throat> there's an old rag shoved in where the gas cap should be. Pull the rag out. Pull the rag out and sift the tank. Sounds like there's a little gas left in there. Liked it. Nice. You dip the rag in the gas tank and suck up all the gas and bring it out onto your cam. Nice. That tractor is the right most interesting thing in this part of the country. There's nothing else you do with this tractor, except maybe sit in it and pretend to be a farmer. Okay, do that. Hope this time the dust the ride before it's time to milk the steers. Keep pretending to farm. You gotta scrub the donkeys before sun up. Gotta harvest some bulgur and then till some simoleon, yeah. Time to dust my wheat. Man, even pretending to farm is hard work. <clears throat> oh no, I have to fertilize the roosters. Haha, <laughs> no, I meant say I have to slop them. Better walk the roosters before the weather gets worst. Today seems like a good day to dust my bulger. Okay, we're just gonna stop that. What's on this side? Nothing. Well, I think in the next video, we're gonna check out the barn. So if you liked what you saw, make sure to like and subscribe and ring the little bell notification so you can be notified when the next video comes out. Other than that, have a nice day, nice night, nice morning, whatever it is. And you have a good one. Bye.